Beacon Hill season one is uh, about meeting all of these rich characters, two political families. Uh, it's really about these two women coming back into each other's lives after six years, not seeing each other, of having a falling out, after having been so in love with each other. And just how the machinations of the two families and how politics plays into the good, the bad, the ugly of relationships. Drama, intrigue, cheating, sex. Real, I mean, this is like an old family feud. People are up to no good, chicanery, trickery, whatever. And that's a lot of fun for the actors to play. And that translated when we were on the set, and I believe will really translate to people at home on, on screen. So um, it's, it's a roller coaster. This show is a roller coaster. It's not just a story about love, you know, girl meets girl, girl loses girl. It's also a story about power and politics and how that corrupts the soul and how that corrupts the people within it. Uh, Sarah and Kate are flawed. They both have these great um, ambitions in their lives and they're willing to, if pushed, do a little bit of betrayal in their relationship, you know, push the other away. What do you want, Sarah? Sarah Preston is, uh, is a gay woman and uh, A, I've never played a gay woman and B, I've never played a reporter. So um, very new to me and, uh, and really refreshing and, and different and it's interesting to work with more women, which I am so used to working with all these men. It was kind of refreshing to be with all these women, gotta say. Um, I loved it. When I first read the script, I really responded to the other character who was the journalist. And Crystal took me aside and she said, I need you to play this other character because it's much harder to find someone who's going to fit into that without pushing. I actually look for parts where the, the woman is um, either central to the piece or the strong uh, character in the piece. The best for me was watching Crystal Chappelle become my mother. She embodied my mother and she was wearing all of my clothes. So it was really fun to watch her kind of create and take on this this persona that was so um, fragile and yet steely, determined and quiet, full of humor and full of searching. It was really beautiful. Now we can have a chance to chat and get to know each other. After all, we are related. Uh, Evelyn is a true wife. She's from the, the other side of town, but she meets this student senator who sweeps her up her feet and gives her everything in life that she always thought she wanted. But I think stepping into his world is a lot different than what she expected it to be. Laura is Catherine's best friend, um, and I think there's some blurred lines there. <laughs> Not really sure what the feelings are quite yet. I think feelings are growing. <laughs> um, but there's genuine love there. Um, just not sure where it could go. Well, I had, to, I had to borrow clothes from my very rich preppy friend. First of all, I don't normally dress like Eric. So just simply putting on clothes that weren't mine, that were made of wonderful fabrics, put me in a, a, a rich preppy political mode. Um, I already had the lunch, so. Do you think your characters have any secrets? Oh, oh I, I hope so. Yeah, I it, absolutely. We don't know what they are. But don't we all have secrets, secrets in our lives? <laughs> I'm fortunate to find this crew have been cast. They're terrific. I love uh, Sarah's playing my daughter, and we're having a great time. I love acting. I love what I get to do. But I gain as much from working with these people and watching them as I do from actually doing it. So um, it's a good, good cast. You're gonna want to watch. I get to work with these people, like whose work I have admired for years. Score, score. I get to kiss a beautiful woman or two beautiful women. Score. You should be jealous. You should all be very jealous of me.